Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Bob Evans fully cooked sandwiches, the breakfast sandwiches. This one is the biscuit. It looks like a biscuit. Yeah, I think it's a biscuit. Yeah, it's bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Um, it's five ounces or 142 grams. Uh, we bought these at Jungle Gems, which is in Ohio, uh, for $2.19. And it was frozen, but you put it in the refrigerator to thaw it uh, when you get home with it. Uh, 400 calories for the biscuit. And basically all you do is do not remove from the package. Leave it in the wrapping just like it is. Microwave thaw for approximately 60 to 70, 75 seconds. And times may vary depending on your microwave. I've got a pretty good microwave, so I'm going to go with the 60 second one. Um, that should be good. But again, don't, don't take it out of the package. So I'll be back when it comes out. All right, so here's the packaging out of the microwave. And it really doesn't look much different. You just have to pull this uh, like paper apart. Come on, come up there. There we go, just pull that sticker off. We don't need that sticker. So there's this. Looks like the cheese uh, ran quite a bit. So that tells me that is a very uh, runny cheese. Because some cheese, you know, you get the really good high quality cheese and it doesn't run at all. Um, this literally turned to, looks like a liquid. I'm gonna take it off the paper. Wow, it's hot. Okay, so there's the Egg. You see how the cheese literally just melted into a puddle? Yeah, that tells me it's probably not the best cheese in the world. Let me get up. Hold on. Good thing is I'm here right next to my countertop so I can get a fork. All right, and it looks like it's literally one piece of bacon curled um, on the bottom of the biscuit. I mean, you got your bottom biscuit right here. So I'm going to set it just like this. I'll let it cool off and I'll be back. All right, so I've let it cool off for just a minute. I haven't even put it back together again to let it finish. So definitely cooled off a bit. I think it's all just the moisture, and especially from the cheese, it being so uh, liquidy that it really put out a lot of steam, which was all packaged together, so it was really, really hot. Biscuit's a good texture. It's, um, it's good and tender. It doesn't feel rubbery. It looks a little buttery even. So I'm gonna take a bite. I'm gonna take that bite right there. It has cheese and, and everything. I like the texture of everything. The uh, the biscuit has a really good texture. It's not as good as like you know restaurant quality, but it is really good for a for a frozen um, biscuit for a microwave biscuit. Um, the egg has a good texture. It's not a really strong flavor of egg, but if you can you can you can taste it a little bit, but it's not like really standout flavor. Most of what I taste is the bacon, which has a really good smoky flavor and the, uh, the biscuit itself. So that, that's the two flavors you, you get most of and you get a little bit of egg following up. The cheese, I really don't get much of the cheese flavor at all. You taste the cheese a little bit when you get a piece that just like lays on your tongue for a second. You can kind of taste it, but not a lot. Um, I'm a little disappointed that the cheese ran everywhere because I've had yellow cheese on things, you know, at home, um, and they don't turn into a puddle. They, you know, they stay where they're at. I've had things microwave before that stays where they're at. They don't turn into a liquid and run off. Um, I don't know if that's because they have a high milk count or an oil count. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know about anything about cheese. I think this one's pretty good. Um, I do like it, even though the cheese did run. I'm going to give it a four out of five. I really do like the flavor of it quite a bit. The bacon, even though there's only one piece there, it really does add a lot of flavor to it. You get that smoky bacon flavor. The biscuit is, is an excellent quality biscuit um, with good flavors. The egg, like I said, adds a little bit, adds a little texture to it. So yeah, I'm going to give it a four out of five. Definitely worth trying out if you get these in your area. Like I said, we found the singles um, in the frozen section. You might be able to find the singles or the, even the bigger boxes of them somewhere too. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.